Hello viewers. I'm doing this video into response to Aussie 50 uh, had done a video and uh, he said he didn't know how to test uh, IGBT bricks. So I'm going to do this video uh, to show people how to test uh, IGBT power bricks out of VFD drives. I got two bricks here. Now if I can show them in the camera here. Uh, one of them's a uh, single pull or a mono brick which only contain which is just physically one IGBT and then and this one here is a double package this actually contains two uh, IGBTs with uh, emitter and collector actually tied together uh, to start off with I'm just going to show how to test this one here which is just simply you know the mono brick which contains just one IGBT in there uh, some of the things I want to show about this is uh, even though you see four connections on here, there's actually only three to worry about. Uh, I'll explain why there's two emitters later, but for the most part, we'll just talk about three of them. There's the collector, and then there's the emitter, and then there's the gate. Uh, the gate is actually where the control voltage is. It actually turns the device on and off, and then the actual power that you want to control goes from emitter to collector. Uh, the emitter uh, connects directly to the negative on the DC bus. The collector goes through the load and then onto the uh, positive uh, of the electrical bus. Now, to actually test one of these uh, units, I have here a 12 volt battery. This is the negative wire here. It should be black, but I've got a white one here. Uh, this connects directly to the negative terminal on the battery. The positive is going through a load here. This is a 12 volt light. And when I touch the two wires together, as you can see, the light turns on. Now, to set this up for testing, the first thing we're going to want to do is take the negative wire, which will connect to the emitter or the cathode of the IGBT. And then the positive, which goes through our load and to, back to the positive of the battery, we want to connect to the collector, which is marked C uh, on our IGBT. Sorry, this is a little flaky to get on. Okay, we've got it technically hooked up right now. Uh, the E, or the emitter, is connected to the negative. Let me tighten this down a little bit. So we got the negative from our battery going to the E, uh, the emitter or the E marking on the uh, IGBT, and then the C or the collector is going through our load and into the positive. And then here is our gate. Um, I need to warn anybody out there that's watching this, be aware that the gate on these things is sensitive to static electricity. If you zap it with your finger, you could run the risk of damaging this thing. Now that we're ready to do our test, the first thing we want to do is take your finger and touch the positive of the battery and then touch the gate on the IGBT. As you can see, the light now turned on and it stays on now that I've taken my finger off. Now I'm going to reach over here and touch the negative. Touch it again, the light goes off and it stays off. Now when you hook this up, it may already be on or already off, depending on you know, what kind of a charge is stored uh, on the gate of this. But, very simple to test. Remember, emitter connects directly to the negative, uh, the positive through your load, and then collect connects to the collector or the C on the IGBT, and then you touch the gate. But don't touch the gate with your finger until you touch the battery post first. Let's keep the static discharge down, because otherwise you can damage these things. Touch the positive, touch the gate, take it off, light stays on. Touch the negative, touch the gate, light goes off. Very simple. Okay, now what I have here is a uh, dual package uh, IGBT brick. Uh, this one has uh, two IGBTs in one package. Now the way they hook these up is they have it right here, and this is emitter 
or no, this is the emitter uh, that goes to the first IGBT in there, and then this is the collector of the second IGBT. Uh, the collect the emitter for this IGBT, uh, this is the collector, but its emitter is connected here, as well as the collector for this one is connected here, since this is the emitter. Uh, the reason why they connect it in that uh, way is uh, normally these are used in a VFD drive. Um, being this is a collector, they put the positive uh, power of the the positive of the DC power rail to uh, the collector here, and then connect the uh, negative of the DC power rail to this one. And then this wire connects to one of the legs of a three-phase motor. There's usually three of these uh, next to each other, you know, cascaded on a uh, DC power bus, and then each one of these goes off uh, to a motor. Uh, probably goes through a series of filters to you know, get a better uh, waveform, cut down on harmonics. But, um, anyways, this is actually designed to drive an H-bridge. Now, if you look over here, there's uh, some spade connectors here, very small ones. There's four of them here. There are two emitters, and then there's two gates. Uh, we're just going to be interested in the gates on this. So, just note that they're here. This is how a double package works. Um, I'm only showing you two examples here. There's there's even like a six pack one which is you know a complete DC to three phase uh, in one single IGBT brick but I don't have one of those so I can't show it to you but once you figure out how to do the single and the duals you'll know what to do if you run across a six pack. Anyways, to test one of these out, uh, the first thing we we'll want to do is just pick one of the the emitter or the collector here. In this case, I'm going to test the emitter on. IGB2 which is actually marked E2 so I'll take our negative from our battery and connect uh, to that which goes directly to the negative of our battery now our positive which of course goes through our load and to this wire I'm going to connect to our common here which has both of them connecting uh, to this one here so we'll connect that here now the thing you're going to want to note is uh, when you connect it to the emitter here which is the center one here uh, note the number 2 after it. Uh, there's actually E2, it could be E1, uh, but in this case it's E2. So what we'll want to do then is look for G2, which is the gate uh, we want to contact with. So this spade connector here is our gate. It's clearly marked G2. So what we'll do is touch the positive battery terminal, and then I'll touch the spade connector for G2. And as you can see, the light turns on. If I touch negative, the light goes off. So we know the second IGBT in this brick here is okay. So now we want to test the uh, IGBT, IGBT1. So we'll disconnect both our wires. Now note uh, I want to test this one here which is going to be marked uh, C1 which means this is the C means this is a collector so I'll need to connect the positive side with my load over here and then our negative will connect to our common here which has both of them going together and so now we're ready to check the uh, IGBT, the second IGBT in this unit now because this was marked C1 and the number one means IGBT1 so we'll look for G1 here uh, the speed connector for that is located here uh, if you run across these it's clearly marked it says G1 touch the positive terminal hold it touch that terminal, light turns on, stays on, touch the negative, touch that, light goes off. So I've just been able to confirm that both uh, the IGBTs in this brick, this, this dual brick, uh, are functional. So this is a working IGBT unit.